The application for statement of charges describes how Baltimore police dismantled Keith and Valeria Smith's account of Jacqueline Smith's murder. Investigators say video footage confirms Keith, Valeria, and Jacqueline were at an American Legion hall the night of the murder, but 27 cameras could not corroborate the route Smith said he took after leaving. According to court documents, the data retrieved from Valeria Smith's account indicated that after leaving the American Legion, her cell phone was north of the American Legion in Druid Hill Park near the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore City, Maryland for approximately 12 to 16 minutes. In their statements, Mr. and Ms. Smith each stated that they headed south after leaving the American Legion. Neither individual mentioned going to Druid Hill Park. Detectives say Smith claimed he got lost and didn't want to admit it when he was asked why he neglected to tell them about the stop in the park. As for forensic evidence, latent prints from the exterior passenger side of the Smith's vehicle were recovered and were determined to be Keith Smith's. Investigators say Luminol revealed the presence of blood in unsuspecting areas of the vehicle. Detectives used wiretaps to track the Smith's and say Keith attempted to book one-way tickets to Cuba and Canada on February 28th. Apparently, he was unable to secure a reservation because he does not have a U.S. passport. Police say Smith searched online to find out if there was a way to cross into Mexico without going through the border. Investigators said Keith and Valeria Smith were 20 minutes from the Mexico border when they requested arrest warrants. We're live tonight outside Baltimore Police Headquarters. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.